Hey man, when you know somebody, you know somebody, man. These Baltimore Ravens. Mm. This, this this just goes to show you yet again that fans they they understand and they know these Baltimore Ravens because when we did that video on Deshaun Jackson a couple days ago on Saturday night, so many fans talked about how oh yeah that that is that would be such a Ravens move to get Deshaun Jackson. It would just be so Ravens because. Why Deshaun Jackson in his prime was amazing. Was an amazing wide receiver, big play wide receiver, big play threat. He did his thing. He did it at wide receiver. He did it uh, as a punt returner as well. Deshaun Jackson was that dude. But the Ravens, they say, hold up now, buddy. Oh, back then you were a little too young. How old are you now? Oh, hey, I'm, I'm 29 years old. No, no, no. <laughs> We'll wait a little bit longer. How old are you now? Oh, I, I, I'm 35, but I still got it. Okay, buddy, come on in, buddy. We're going to bring you in for a visit, buddy. Get on up in here, man. And insert Deshaun Jackson. The Ravens will be visiting with him on Tuesday. Mm. These Baltimore Ravens, they, they, they took that I am athlete bait. They took the bait. I said it in a video. I, I said that. And Deshaun Jackson, he did too. Because we talked about in that video how Deshaun Jackson, when um, uh, Pac-Man, when Pac-Man Jones asked Deshaun Jackson, all right, what's four teams that you feel like you can contribute to right now? He said the Eagles, and he said the Packers. He, he listed those two alone first. And then Pac-Man was like, oh, hey, I said four. Well, give me at least one more. And he was like, oh, the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. And I was like, well, Deshaun Jackson, even though he listed them as his third team, I bet if they gave him a phone call, they would be his first team quick. And apparently they gave him a phone call and he is on his flight to BWI, whether he's coming from Philly or wherever. But he's on the way. And I mean, unless the Ravens are getting ready to hit us with a killer swerve, unless this is a killer smoke screen, I don't think it is. But then I would expect for Deshaun Jackson to be a Baltimore Raven sooner rather than later. <sighs> I don't know sometimes, man. I don't know, man. I just, I, I, I can't call it, man. Um, my guy Tyler said, man, we might as well bring in Terrell Owens, Josh Gordon, Ocho Cinco, and Antonio Brown for a workout at this point. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> My guy Simon said, let's give Lamar a wide receiver one. Pro proceeds to find the guy who was a wide receiver one when Lamar was in high school. Mm. Then my guy Mark said, it's just sad at this point. The Ravens. Um, uh, this has been their thing. It, it, again, it's a, philo it's a philosophical thing. It's a philosophical thing with the Baltimore Ravens, how they do not value the wide receiver position. This is not a Lamar Jackson thing. This is not a Greg Roman thing. This is a philosophical thing with how the Ravens have been operating for a very long time now. For a very long time now. It's the way that they've been constructing their rosters for the longest. It's, hey... Defense, spend the bread. Hey, on offense, at some position, we'll spend some bread. Offensive line, I mean, obviously, Ronnie Stanley getting paid. Extended offensive line, <laughs> Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, they getting paid. Really, Mark Andrews, but Nick Boyle, Nick Boyle contract ain't cheap now, y'all. Hold up now. Um, At running back, well, before, in Ray Rice days, when, when they were way less running back by committee, they will pay a running back. Now, nope. They ain't with that no more. They said, oh, no, it's running back by committee. That's why they would keep Gus Edwards' carries low so he wouldn't go off so his contract wouldn't be so high. But anyway, we ain't talking about that right now. Um, But, yeah, and they, of course, at quarterback, I mean, they paid Joe Flacco, but Lamar Jackson will see to be determined. But um, at wide receivers, no. No. You can't think of anyone now, recently, or back then that got a fat deal. I mean, Anquan Bolden, they did re-sign him. It wasn't for nothing crazy. 
Uh, but they signed they resigned him, so there's that. But then even when you look at that, when you use Anquan Bolden as an example, it's like, man, they, they brought on, on Anquan Bolden AFC Championship Super Bowl. And then they were like, from there, they were like, oh, no, 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 no. Let's just let's get back to signing the older guys. The um, Because after that, a couple years after that, it was Steve Smith Sr., um, and through the years, just the, the, the lack of quality and the lack of, again, youthful quality. The lack of prime quality that they've put into the wide receiver position. It's just been frustrating, man. And especially now with Lamar Jackson. It's like because did you not learn your lesson with Joe Flacco? Like you, you had Joe Flacco, you had a decent quarterback. And you never really gave this guy everything. But, but then when you did surround him with quality talent at the wide receiver position, would you get a return? Oh, you got a Super Bowl in return? Wow, that's crazy. Who would have thought? That's insane. Wow, that's remarkable. But now you got a Lamar Jackson. And I think a lot of people will say he's better than Joe Flacco. Um, but I know some people got other opinions. And that's fine. It is what it is. But... My biggest frustration with the Ravens, with Lamar Jackson, has just been the lack of reaching in and doing everything you possibly can to pull out all the possible potential that you can get out of him as your quarterback. That has been my thing. And again, I don't hate having to do this. I don't mind. But you look around the league. And you look at all these other quarterbacks who have continued to be provided for weapon after weapon or receive after 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 receiver. Then you look at the Ravens. And what do they do? They like, oh, you know what? We're going to trade away our wide receiver. One, Hollywood Brown. How are you going to replace him, Baltimore? We're not. We're not. We're good enough for what we got. And shout out to the guys that they have. But again, my thing, going back to that. Why would you run that risk, especially in a year like this year? Why would you run the risk with so much unproven talent in a year like Lamar contract year? And you want to run the risk? Oh, you know what? We'll just roll with the guys that we got. With, it's, it's a lot of guys that are unproven. And with, with them being unproven, it could go two different ways. It could be great or it could be not so great. You haven't gotten much out of them. Rashad Bateman, unfortunately, been hurt. Devin DuVernay started off hot last week. I mean, yesterday was really quiet. But other than that, from Proche, Tylen Wallace, I mean, you don't really even use them that much anyway. You brought in Demarcus Robinson and... He, start, he started off all right, but it's, it's been quiet ever since. It's been quiet ever since. And you, you just look at the way that they have constructed the roster year after year after year after year after year. Lamar's in his fifth year. Fifth year. The best wide receiver that the Ravens have probably brought in from the outside for Lamar Jackson has probably been, probably, no, well, no, nah, because nah, uh, Willie Sneed was for Flacco. But they did re-sign him. So you could say Willie Sneed, maybe even Seth Roberts. I don't know, man. Because they brought in guys over the years, over Lamar Jackson's career, they brought in guys like Willie Sneed, Seth Roberts, Dez Bryant, Sammy Watkins, and did, am I missing anybody? I don't, I don't think so, but I don't know, man. It's just it just seems like they they just don't want to get the most out of them. It seems like that, like they do not want to get the most out of Lamar Jackson. If you want to, in my opinion, this, this is just me. Let me know if if y'all disagree or whatnot. But in my opinion, if you want to get the most out of somebody, then you put them in the best situation. My opinion, though, I could be wrong. But if you want to get the best out of somebody, you put them in the best situation. 
to where it's like, all right, they got all their tools that they need in order to be successful. You've equipped them. You got them set. You got them ready to go. But if you don't equip them, if you don't have them set, if you don't have them ready to go, then can you really expect for them to be the best that they can possibly be? You let me know. Just, just my opinion, though. But Deshaun Jackson, what does he have left? We'll see. We'll see. Because, again, like I said, I, this is just a move that I, I, I would definitely expect the Ravens. I, I definitely expect them to sign him. Because this is not just your average workout. Um, this is just the Ravens. Uh, wow. This is, this is just the Ravens. Uh, so I don't think this is going to be one of them, oh, we just worked them out in one of them wasted time workouts or whatnot. Uh, especially with them having Rashad Bateman still out for now. Uh, they do have Andy Isabella on the practice squad. Um, so I, I think if, if they do sign Deshaun Jackson, it'll probably be to the practice squad um, and then uh, then elevate him. Well, I mean, call him up for a couple games, see how it goes, and then go from there. Uh, but, man, this is, this is something. Um, 35 years old, man. I did not realize, man, time, time goes by super fast. It goes by super fast. But Deshaun Jackson, 35 years old, man. 35 years old. Um, and the Ravens bringing him in for a visit at a, posi at a position where they've struggled this year. Now, I know you're going to get Rashad Bateman back soon, hopefully. But... Is this is this the best that you got for for a premium position where you've obviously struggled at this year? Now Lamar done missed some too. Now Lamar is not faultless for this at all. But there also been a lot of times when it's just like ain't nobody getting open too, and it's like oh boy, here we go. But at a position, a premium position where you struggled at this year. A 35-year-old guy, you, you, you're going to be relying on him heavy. He ain't played football. I know none, none this year. He, he did play last year, I believe. And it's, it's, it was the same way with pass rush. It's the same way with pass rush. Same thing. Bowser out, Ajabo out. Justin Houston, who is, he got to be like 30, 33, 34, 35, somewhere around there. I don't know how. You know what? Let me look it up right now. I mean, you got all this technology just sitting in front of me, and I ain't even trying to use it, man. Let me see how old Justin Houston is. Justin Houston. He is... Oh, he's 33. Okay. So, Justin Houston, 33 years old. And he was relied upon to be the Ravens' pass rusher. Of course, it was a transition to Dafe away and Bowser and whatnot, but they called him back, too. So, that's another premium position. Where they're relying on somebody who's older... And there were a lot of times he was just a little gassed. That's because they ain't had nobody out there. But then they went and doubled down, and then they went and got JPP. So Jason Pierre-Paul, how old is he? He is... How old is he? Why is not showing me now? Jason Pierre-Paul is 33. Oh, he's 33. So another one. Um, and those guys, when they've played, they've definitely been solid. Um, but it just seems like the Ravens, especially a wide receiver, um, they just, there's, there's, there's always such a, there's a lack of balance there. There's a lack of balance. Like, you see teams go youth and quality veteran, like quality young veteran. Like, like look at the Dolphins, for example. Jalen Waddle first round, boom, Tyreek Hill, beast. Look at the Eagles. Um, Devontae Smith, first round, A.J. Brown, beast. You look at, uh, I mean, look at the Cowboys, too. Cowboys loaded up at receiver, and they, uh, they had Michael Gallup. He, I mean, he wasn't, he ain't, he's young still. He ain't old, old. I mean, his body, body hurting, but... C.D. Lamb. They went and got him too. Cardinals, I mean, 
You you know Cardinal story. They like they just keep going. They had DeAndre Hopkins, they got Hollywood Brown, uh, Hollywood Brown hurt now, so they brought in Robbie Anderson right away. They they've continued trying there. Um, but there's been that balance. You look at the Bills, Stephon Diggs, the veteran, and Gabe Davis. We even look at the Steelers. Steelers, the veteran, oh, I mean Deontay, Deontay Johnson, um, Chase Claypool. I know right now Steelers quarterback situation been a little back and forth. Kenny Piggy got hurt the other day in the game, so Trubisky had to come back in, but they won. They beat them Bucks, but even there, Chase Claypool, Deontay uh, Johnson, and uh, they brought in the George Pickens. So some quality guys with some good experience, and they still brought in youth and good balance. And then you look at the Ravens. You look at the Ravens. And now this. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain over the help. Because, I mean, anything would help at this point, right? Um, but it's just the way. It's just the lack of quality. That, that's my biggest frustration with the Baltimore Ravens. And the way that they do things at the receiver position specifically. Because there just has been, especially under Lamar Jackson, because again, they should have learned from Flacco, but there has been just such a lack there for a long time, and I just wish that things would change.